your pellet boiler has a vacuum system, then you will need to inspect and maintain the vacuum turbine during the annual service. There are a number of vacuum turbine manufacturers, but these all look similar and function in the same way. The location of the turbine in the boiler will vary dependent on the manufacturer and model, but it can usually be found on the top or the bottom of the day hopper. The turbine works by a motor spinning to turn an impeller that then sucks out air to create a vacuum. There are carbon brushes in the turbine that create the electrical circuit to the rotor. The brushes are in contact whilst the turbine is spinning and this contact causes them to wear. When servicing a pellet boiler, you will need to check the amount of carbon left in the pair of brushes in the vacuum turbine, as these will wear down over time, just like the lead in a pencil will wear down as you write. Here you can see that the brushes have worn down. We recommend that these are replaced when the remaining carbon is 10 to 15 mm. To replace the brushes, you need to remove the black plastic casing. This can be done in situ without removing the vacuum motor from the boiler, but here we will do this on a bench for ease of demonstration. To do this, bend the spring clips which fix the brush holder slightly outwards. After bending these lugs so far outwards that they don't put up any further resistance, you can take off the black plastic casing. Remove the screws of the spring clips using a crosshead screwdriver. Then pull away the brush holder a bit backwards and slightly twist it so that you can shift the contact lug out of the brush holder with the screwdriver. After pulling the contact lug out of the retaining bracket entirely, the brush holder can be removed together with the carbon brush and get replaced with a new carbon brush. When inserting the new brush holder, make sure that the contact lug is being pushed against. Once you have replaced both of the carbon brushes, pull tight the spring clips so that they are in their original position. Now, gently spin the impeller with your finger to check that it spins smoothly and that there are no contact noises. Then you can put the black plastic casing on and if you remove the motor, you can now reinstall it in the boiler. Before restarting the boiler, it is always a good idea to test the vacuum in aggregate test mode on your boiler.